Hello, in this video we're going to learn how to do a floating navigation menu. In Adalo right now um, we do have a couple of options um, for our navigation. Um, for example, we've got uh, the left nav which can pop out and we've also got the component tab bar which um, is quite popular. Um, but I'm going to show you a bit of a different way. So here's our app. We've got our login area and a home screen. So let's say we want um, a menu icon up here. Okay, and we're going to make that, uh, let's say, about 50. Okay, and put that at the top left or just below there. Okay, and what we want is when we click on this, a menu is going to pop up below that with some icons. Okay, so um, the first thing is we need to have a way of telling if the menu should be on or not. So I'm going to do this um, under the logged in user um, as a true false property um, called menu on. Okay, and when they click the menu button, it's going to update logged in user menu on is true. Okay, and we're also going to make a second menu icon which is going to update it uh, that property to false. So the second button will close the menu. Um, thirdly, we need custom visibility on the menu icon. So this one is going to be visible sometimes if logged in user menu on is false. Okay, so if the menu is currently off, they'll see this one, which switches the menu on. The other one will be sometimes visible if logged in user menu on is true. Okay, so they'll see this button when the menu is open um, and the action on that makes it false. Okay, and what we want to do is make sure that it is snapped to the bottom of the other icon. And what that means is when the top one is not visible, this should shift up exactly into the same position. Okay, so the user's not going to see two menus. Um, it should be a fairly seamless experience. Um, the next thing I'm going to make is a rectangle. Okay, and this is going to be the position of the menu icons. So um, let's um, maybe have an ellipse inside and change the size of that. I'm going to say 50 by 50. Okay, and try and position that in the middle of the rectangle there. Um, now let's change the color um, of that ellipse. Okay, let's make it a red. And then inside, let's have an icon and drag that to the middle of the ellipse. Okay, so maybe we could make this um, some sort of messaging or email icon. Okay, again, we can change the size of that and then just reposition it um, however you want to do it. And then I'm going to make a group, okay? And then just make sure that group is centered. Let's copy and paste and have another icon down below and change the icon. Okay, so maybe this could be a sort of profile page. Um, if I can find the icon, there we go, account. Um, okay, so we've got two different buttons that are gonna pop up. Um, and let's select everything there and select that rectangle and group them. Okay, uh, rename menu group. Okay, and maybe we don't want that rectangle to be gray. Um, so let's just make it um, white. Okay, um, so now what we're going to do is make sure that group is snapped to the bottom of this icon here. And then we're also going to edit style and fix it um, top or bottom, it shouldn't really matter, but it means it will float above everything else and not break the layout. Okay, the other thing we need to do is on this menu group, is change visibility to sometimes visible if logged in user menu on is true. Okay, and another thing I'm going to do is just group these menus. 
okay, and make sure um, this group is snapped to that pair of menus. Um, so let's have a look how that is. Okay, let's click on that, and there we go, really simple. There is a bit of a gap, okay, so that's something we do need to correct, but um, that is the principle of how to do the floating navigation. And one last thing to get rid of that gap, what I've done is this group of the two menu icons, I've gone to edit styles and fixed it to the top. Okay, and the reason for that is because these, this group and this group are now fixed to the top, they should be snapping together properly. That's why we had the gap because this was um, fixed to the top and this one wasn't. But now that this is also fixed to the top, we will see that it works just as we want it to. Okay. So there we go, really simple. And then obviously to make them links, you're gonna add an action on these buttons. Okay, that's all for now. Any questions, let me know.